Hey guys, Floyd's Mayhem Garage here. Uh, I wanted to make a video today talking about the differences between uh, chargers. More specifically in this video, 68 to 70 chargers. Uh, but I will uh, end up making probably three or four videos here, depending on how we do that, between first, second, and third generation chargers as well. But in this one, we're going to focus on the second gen 68 to 70s. All right, so. Going front to back on this car, I'll probably miss a thing here or there, we might have to come back, but I'll try to start at the front and move to the back. The biggest difference, uh, first kind of visual impact you're going to see, is going to be the grill. Uh, 68, which happens to be my favorite, is this nice open grill, uh, very uniformed all the way across. you got your chrome bumper down here. Uh, the grills between a 68, 69, and 70 Charger are year specific, so this is specific to a 68. 69 does happen to be very similar, um, other than it has a sort of wedge-shaped uh, center divider. Uh, the headlight doors end up being the same, and so the center section changes. Uh, but very close, but it does have that wedge shape. And then 70 ends up going back to an open grill, except they got rid of the I guess, singular bumper and went with that chrome wraparound bumper. And then the grill ended up actually being a little bit taller. So completely different shape, but sort of visually the same as 68 minus that chrome wraparound grill and as far as the hoods are concerned the hoods were the same between 68 and 69 70 because of that chrome wraparound grill they ended up redesigning the hood along with the fenders so hood and fenders are 1970 specific and then they will interchange between 69 and 70 or i'm sorry between 68 and 69 they're very similar except 68 has a round marker light uh, and these are actually lights that light up where 69 went to a square side reflector and so it's just a uh, reflector not actually a light and then that's where 70 they had to made up with that chrome wraparound bumper so it was a completely different fender same overall shape but specific to that year uh, the cowls and roof center have been the same on all the cars the doors are almost identical between all the years but they are actually different. So 68 um, outside wise is the same as 69 and 70 is even the same except it was an option on a 70 to where you had louvers here or scallops um, uh, uh, added like kind of bolt on one. But between 68 and 69 there was an issue with these I guess being broken into because the door lock is right by this seam. It was easy enough to spread these apart and unlock it. So in 69 they moved the door lock up about eight inches and so 69 and 70 the door lock was further up um, interior wise when you talk steering columns as well uh, law wise they ended up being changed for 1970 68 and 69 have your key on the dash 70 it got moved to the uh, steering column and quarter panels technically are the same between all the cars Except same thing, marker lights changed. Same as the front fender, got a round marker light for 68, went to a square reflector for 69, and then we went to a little bit longer, or square re rectangular I suppose, a little bit longer rectangular for 1970 with a chrome bezel instead of a painted bezel. And deck lids ended up being the same. Visually they're the same between 68 to 70, but 70 had provisions underneath because that was the first year that it was optioned with what they called the going, which is your spoiler. And then as well, one of the things that makes the 68 one of my favorites is the taillights. You got the four individual round taillights with the reverse lights uh, built into the center of them. Bumpers were the same on all three years. And the taillights, because uh, I, I want to say the tail panels, the angles changed, but 68 had these round taillights 69 went to a much longer elongated taillight which sort of followed this curve in the bumper and 69 was very or 70 was very similar to 69 uh, except it ended up having a different chrome bezel so without the chrome bezel 69 and 70 do look very similar so and as well between the three years there ended up being a lot of differences on the interior so much so that i don't even know them very well myself but there's the same thing as kind of the exterior there's some pretty basic differences i mentioned the steering column uh, how they moved the key. That's federally mandated as well, or it was a law of some sort. Um, the door panels ended up being almost identical between 68 and 69. Uh, the upper door pads, same thing because of your door lock location, 
those end up being 68 to 69 specific. Uh, and then 70 went to a different design on your lower panels, and I think the uppers were the same as the 69s. But one of the biggest differences as well is going to be the seats. Uh, the seats in 68, if you have an early built car, and I don't remember what the exact dates are, you don't have headrests. The head headrests were a mid-year uh, introduction. And so, and then I think they're even a mid-year introduction or an option, something, something like that. Some 68s will have headrests, some 68s will not. Uh, and then when you went to 1970, they changed the seats completely, and that's when they had the full built-in headrest. All right, as well, there's quite a few uh, interior differences. I mentioned a couple, you know, one of them being the seats. But one of the other distinct differences uh, that's kind of a, a quick visual reference is going to be the dash pad. So in 68, they come out and it peaks in the center. Uh, 69 is a different design and is straight across. And I believe 70 is going to be that same design of just straight across. And so same thing, that's another uh, quick kind of visual identifier to what car you're dealing with. Um, I was going to mention some chrome and trim, but those none of those are really kind of year specific. There are a ton of differences, kind of like with the interior. Um, you got a bunch of different uh, trim packages and levels and your kind of base model to RTs versus SEs, stuff like that. It added kind of a lot of different trims to them, but none of them are really kind of year specific and kind of helping you quickly identify a car if you're at like a, a car show or if you're looking to, to buy one online. Um, that's kind of what this these kind of quick identifiers are per year. Um, and as well with these, uh, I mentioned I was going to do some more videos. Uh, this is going to be the second gen 68 to 70 video. We're going to do one on the first gens and the third gens as well. And then I wanted to do a video of all three uh, to kind of show you the differences between first, second, and third generation as well. So we'll see that coming up. And then as well, I've got one that I'm going to do on my Daytona to kind of show you the differences between a 69 charger and a base charger, I guess, and the Daytona and all the differences that they did to make it a NASCAR. So stay tuned for the other Charger videos coming out, and until then, we'll see you next time.